Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to explore another fascinating Mega Machines topic. Today, we're heading deep below the surface of the Earth into a world that most people will never see firsthand, yet one that quietly shapes our modern lives every single day. We're talking about the absolutely insane tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, that slice through entire mountains, chew up solid rock, and lay down the foundation for the tunnels we depend on. These machines are so gigantic and powerful that it almost seems like science fiction, but they're very real, and without them, cities would choke in traffic, trains couldn't zip through mountains, and many places wouldn't even have fresh water. So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you'll be blown away by just how incredible and how essential these giant underground beasts really are. Why tunnel boring machines even exist? So let's start with the big question, why do we need these monstrous machines? Imagine trying to run a modern city without tunnels. Highways would twist for dozens of extra miles to snake around mountains. Train lines would take twice as long. Many metro systems wouldn't exist at all. Since you can't run subways through skyscrapers, even the water you drink might not reach you, countless cities rely on deep tunnels that carry fresh water from remote reservoirs or divert floodwaters. Digging long tunnels through hard rock used to be one of humanity's most brutal, dangerous, and slowest construction tasks. In the past, it meant explosives, pickaxes, and endless manual labor. Progress was measured in inches. TBMs changed everything. These machines can carve through mountains hundreds of feet thick, pushing forward dozens of feet every day, while safely lining the tunnel behind them as they go. How a tunnel boring machine actually works. Picture a tunnel boring machine like a mechanical earthworm crossed with a giant rotating cheese grater. At the very front is a massive circular cutter head, sometimes 50 or 60 feet across, covered in dozens of super-hardened steel or tungsten carbide cutters. As it spins, it scrapes and crushes rock into rubble. Behind that cutter head is the shield, a huge cylindrical steel shell that protects the machine and the workers inside from collapsing rock. As the TBM advances, powerful hydraulic rams push it forward. Crushed rock, called muck, is carried backward by conveyor belts or slurry pipelines. Meanwhile, Right behind the cutter head, the TBM installs precast concrete segments, locking them together to instantly create a finished tunnel. This means a TBM isn't just a drill, it's basically a mobile underground factory, simultaneously cutting, excavating, removing waste, and building the tunnel walls as it moves. Bertha is Seattle's giant that almost got lost forever. One of the most famous, or maybe infamous, TBMs ever built was nicknamed Bertha, used to dig a two-mile highway tunnel beneath Seattle. Bertha was an absolute monster, 57, 5 feet in diameter, roughly the height of a five-story building turned on its side. Watching it rotate and eat away at the ground looked almost like a movie special effect. But Bertha's journey was anything but smooth. A few thousand feet into the dig, the machine suddenly ground to a halt. Engineers discovered that a steel pipe left over from an old test well had jammed the cutter head. Worse, the breakdown caused Bertha's massive main bearing to overheat and fail. To fix her, workers had to dig a huge vertical shaft from the surface down to the stuck TBM, lift out gigantic broken parts, and rebuild the machine right in the middle of the tunnel. The entire rescue took two years and hundreds of millions of extra dollars. When Bertha finally broke through to daylight, Seattle threw a huge celebration just to mark that she hadn't ended up entombed forever underground. The Gothard Base Tunnel, drilling through the heart of the Alps. If we're talking about tunnel boring machines digging through entire mountains, we have to mention the Gothard Base Tunnel in Switzerland. This is the longest and deepest railway tunnel on the planet, stretching 35, 5 miles through the base of the Swiss Alps. Building this tunnel meant driving TBMs through some of the hardest rock on Earth for nearly two decades. Engineers faced underground pressures so immense they threatened to squeeze the tunnel shut. Water from ancient underground rivers poured in unexpectedly, and the rock itself was hot enough over 115 degrees Fahrenheit to make the tunnel feel like a sauna. Multiple TBMs worked from different sides of the mountain simultaneously, each carving its own path. When the final breakthrough came in 2010, workers celebrated by holding hands through the tiny hole connecting the two sides a symbolic handshake that represented years of relentless work deep underground. China's record-breaking TBMs going even bigger. China is home to more tunnel boring projects than anywhere else on Earth, and they're pushing the envelope by building TBMs that keep smashing size records. One massive TBM in Wuhan was over 52 feet in diameter, 
designed to carve a tunnel under the Yangtze River big enough to hold an entire highway with multiple lanes in each direction. Even larger machines are being built for planned undersea tunnels that could one day connect cities separated by entire straits. Watching these giants arrive at a work site is an event on its own. They come in thousands of pieces on dozens of semi-trucks, then get painstakingly assembled in giant launch pits that look like huge swimming pools. Once ready, they begin their silent march underground, often out of sight for years at a time. Where does all that rock go? Here's something that blows people's minds, a single long tunnel project might produce millions of cubic meters of crushed rock, enough to fill several sports stadiums. Inside the TBM, conveyor belts or pressurized slurry pipelines carry this endless stream of muck back through the finished tunnel to waiting trucks or trains. In many modern projects, this excavated rock is recycled on-site, ground even finer and mixed into concrete for the tunnel lining segments themselves. This means part of the mountain literally becomes the walls of the tunnel, a clever loop that saves money and cuts waste. Why TBMs are packed with high-tech sensors. Digging tunnels is spectacular and risky. These machines often run hundreds of feet below cities, rivers, and mountain ranges. If the ground shifts or a machine gets stuck, it can cause surface collapses or flooding. That's why TBMs are packed with cutting-edge sensors. They constantly monitor everything, ground pressure, vibration, cutter head speed, torque, temperature, and even chemical signatures that might warn of gas pockets. Up on the surface, engineers sit in control rooms that look like space mission command centers, watching dozens of data feeds from deep underground to ensure nothing goes wrong. TBMs under the sea, the channel tunnel. Not every tunnel boring project is through mountains, some are under the ocean. Like the famous channel tunnel, or channel, connecting England and France. TBMs had to carve through soft chalk and clay beneath the seabed while ensuring seawater didn't burst in. The TBMs used on the channel were slightly smaller than some mountain TBMs but still enormous, with cutter heads about 25 feet across. Without TBMs, there's simply no way to dig such long precise tunnels under bodies of water. Today, more than 20 million people a year zip between London and Paris by train, all thanks to these giant underground machines. The future, bigger, faster, deeper. So what's next? Engineers are designing even faster TBMs that can tunnel three times quicker than today's machines, using new cutter materials and smarter guidance systems. Huge projects are on the horizon, from proposed undersea links connecting Japan and Korea, to Arctic tunnels through permafrost. Some companies are even exploring semi-robotic TBMs that might eventually need almost no human operators on board at all. The machines that quietly build the world. So there you have it, the absolutely insane tunnel boring machines that slice through entire mountains, carve under oceans, and let us live and travel in ways people 100 years ago could only dream about. They're part giant drill, part underground factory, and part miracle of modern engineering. If you enjoyed this journey into the hidden world of TBMs, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more incredible stories of mega machines, and drop a comment telling us, would you ever want to ride inside one of these machines while it's chewing through rock hundreds of feet underground? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with even more stories of the powerful machines that quietly keep our world moving.